Hey guys, King of the North here. Um, I'm going to give you guys a quick installation guide on how to install TOTSK 1.6.4. Um, as always, it's pretty straightforward, so you're just going to uh, drag, drop, and replace, and make sure you activate your mods. Okay, so when you download the file off of Nexus, you are going to um, open up the download folder, um, and I recommend downloading or at least having some sort of um, decompressor or something to open up um, uh, RAR files, which I use WinWar. So anyway, so once you open it up, um, you're going to see the TOTSK 1.64, and you're going to open it up, and then inside you can see the bin, GUI, modules, music, uh, the installation guide, and the load order. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. So from there, you can put this side by side, move this over here for just a second. You are going to um, navigate to your bin and load directory, which I have mine right here. And this kind of goes for anytime, I mean, really for anything. So anytime you're trying to install any sort of mod um, or any sort of you know, mod for just any game, um, it, it, the directory is located pretty much where the main game file is. So for instance, Bannerlord is located and if you have Steam, it would be in your uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord. So this is our directory and this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the um, bin, GUI, modules, and music folders, and we're just going to bring them right over to this empty spot here um, and just pretty much drop, we're pretty much just drop them there, honestly, and just replace them. So it's pretty straightforward. So you're going to, I'm just going to highlight them all at once by just clicking, you know, bin, and then holding shift, and clicking music, and that selects them all. And so from there, uh, hold, or click and hold, and drag over to the empty spot, and you're going to drop it, and let go. Um, and then what it's going to ask you is, it's going to take some time to kind of download and decompress and all that, and it's going to ask you if you want to replace the files, and just hit yes. Um, so once you do that, you're going to launch the game. Once it launches, uh, navigate to the mods. And what you're going to see is that when it, if it looks like this, you did it correctly. But we need to do one more step, and everyone always forgets this. Make sure you d you actually activate your mods. So click the little orange boxes here, GT Armory. GT Armory 2, Armory 3, 4, 5, GT Throne Rooms, and TOT Escape Legacy. Um, these are the required files. Um, GOT Banks uh, is not required, uh, but thanks to um, another um, mod developer uh, who is a genius, he allowed us to um, upload, uh, actually update the code for 1.64 and use it into Bannerlord. Um, or upload it to to TSK and, and use it for our mod, which is phenomenal. So so shout um, shout outs to him, and um, I'll leave a link in the description on our Nexus page of where all of his stuff is. And this guy's just a genius; he's awesome. So make sure you guys go over there and give him some love because he's the actual creator for the the banks, arenas, and work uh, code that that he allowed us to use. So anyway, so obviously uh, GT Banks adds banks, GT Arenas adds like a uh, pretty much like an arena fight where you can just kill a bunch of, I, mean, I think they're bandits? I'm not too sure yet, but um, it's just fun to throw it in. And GOT work uh, allows you to work in villages. So a lot of, you know, RPG type stuff, nothing crazy or, or, or anything like that, but it's fun. So you can activate them if you want to, but GOT work, arenas, and banks are not required. But I'm going to activate them, so make sure you do that. So these are all the files, again, that you should have activated. Armory. Armory 2, Armory 3, 4, and 5, GOT Throne Rooms, and TOTSK Legacy. And then the optional files are GOT Banks, GOT Arenas, and GOT Work. And you just play it, and you're good to go. Alright? If you guys have any issues, I'll leave a link in the description of our uh, Discord channel. We have a support team to help you guys out, and I'm in there every now and then uh, to help you guys out as well. But you guys keep it easy, and have a good day.